Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 SEMA show and Barrett Jackson had this very cool 1951 Hudson Wasp I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll check it out. How cool is that? And I mean, a 1951 Hudson Wasp. When's the last time you saw one of those? I don't remember. And I don't, I'm sure I've never seen one as cool as this one. I just dig it. Been de-chromed, everything, all the trim is either that bronze color or it's black. The paint was mild, deep black. The skirt's all the way to the ground on the back. I mean, that thing is just gangster. Art Morrison front suspension, Ford 9 inch, custom shot wheels, fabrication, body modifications, you name it, it's been done to it. The Wasp actually came after Hudson had merged with Nash. And then it was built by the American Motors Corporation. So, the fact that this one has a Viper in it kind of fits. Not that I'm any kind of a Hudson historian. Like I said, I, I, you know, I may have seen several other ones, but they never drew my attention like this one did. Looks like we'll know how much this one's worth. Here in a few months, it's gonna go through Barrett Jackson Scottsdale. Man, look at that interior. I mean, every, everything. I wouldn't change a thing on this car. I just thought it was perfect. Classy, stylish, custom dash. It's a six-speed, Viper-powered. I mean, there again, does it get any cooler? You can get different, but can you get cooler? Kind of got a, a aggressive street machine, but yet still this classy Nash kind of Hudson look about it too. Now I think they killed it. I I I, I don't know how long the car's been done, but yeah, no, I I think they nailed this one. The stance, wheel choice, colors, the way they accented everything, and you know. Viper V10 up underneath the hood. A little frosting on that cake, right? All cleanly installed. Very nice. Not all paneled up either, just like that ring in the box kind of a look. All custom panel work though up underneath the inner fenders and firewall and all that kind of stuff. But just what I thought it was just a really nice, clean, cool build. Grills all custom, headlights have been reshaped, you name it. I mean, it's just a ton of work sitting there. But I think it's rolling art. Always will be cool, never go out of style kind of a thing. Right? Especially in Vegas. I mean, I think it plays really well in Vegas. I wish I would have had that as my rental car, <laughs> right? I thought it was cool, and I knew y'all would want to see it. So there you go from the 2022 SEMA show, a 1951 Hudson Wasp. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.